so we come on to A Course in Miracles lesson, workbook lesson 122. It leads on from 121, where forgiveness sets me free, is the key to happiness. Lesson 122 says, forgiveness offers everything I want. What do you want? You want to be happy. You want to be at peace. You want total clarity and total certainty with total conviction that you will remain peaceful and happy forever. That when this body mind appears to die, that which is the real you, that which we call our soul, our self, our Holy Spirit, our shared essence, that continues in eternal happiness. And, but you want certainty, not a concept. You die and go to heaven, virgins. What? No, no. You want to know here now. Not one day when you die. You want to know here now. You want to connect with that essence, which is the knowing of self. That essence which knows itself is the essence. And you want the total certainty of it. And then you want to put it to practice so that you see the miracle happening here now while you appear in a body-mind. Why? Because if it appears here now to you while you appear to be dreaming, then you'll know it's true. And that's the miracle the knowing of it. Forgiveness offers everything I want. What could you want? Forgiveness cannot give. Do you want peace? Forgiveness offers it. Do you want happiness and a quiet mind? Same thing. A certainty of purpose and a sense of worth and beauty that transcends the world. Beauty beyond the most beautiful sunset. A beauty in everything. You want that. You want to see beauty in everything. Do you want purpose, a sense of self-worth, an immeasurable sense of self-worth because you are God's holy son. There's nothing you can be measured against because you are all there is as the extension of all there is. Do you want care? Do you want to be cared, nurtured, loved, and safety, and the warmth of sure protection always? those wings of the angel around you for eternity, symbolically? Do you want a quietness that cannot be disturbed by this noise of the world? A gentleness that can never be hurt. A deep, deep abiding, an abiding comfort, and a rest so perfect that it could never be upset. You rest here in God. You rest in peace. Here now, not when you die. You don't rest in peace when you die. If you didn't transcend the knowing of yourself, if you died with still being attached to the world of dreams, still wanting something, still searching for something, still not knowing yourself, you'll be back like Arnold. All this forgiveness offers you and more. It sparkles on your eyes as you awake. You awake happy. I used to wake up so angry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now I wake up happy and it gives you joy joy the extension of happiness the eternal peace of it joy and peace happiness and peace is joy with which to meet the day it soothes your forehead while you sleep you sleep peacefully and it rests upon your eyelids and by the way dreamless sleep you don't have to imagine you're not imagining dragons it's just peace fantasy of dragons <laughs> and rest upon your eyelids so you see no dreams no universe no world of form no dreams of fear and evil malice and attack you see beauty the world may be going to shit you just that happy person and when you wake in the morning again it offers you another day of happiness and peace all this Forgiveness offers you and more. Forgiveness lets the veil of illusions, where you can be yourself knowingly, be lifted. The veil be lifted that hides the face of the self, Christ, from those who look with unforgiving eyes upon the world. That's why people resonate towards you and let you recognize the Son of God, the self. Son of God is the self, the Christ. It's the one same self, same thing. And clears your memory of all dead thoughts. What are dead thoughts? 
the thoughts you have with the dreaming mind. What are the real thoughts? What's the only true life thought, live thought, the thought you share with God? Unconditional love, joy, peace. So it clears your memory of all dead thoughts so that you rem the remembrance of your father, your source energy, can rise across the threshold of your mind. And thus you can be yourself knowing. What would you want forgiveness cannot give? What gifts but these are worthy to be sought? What else could you possibly want in the world? What if I told you the most amazing relationship next, the car, the house, the job, it's only going to bring you more misery because it's just going to be an obstacle to peace. What if I told you that when you become yourself knowingly, all else shall be given you? When you awaken to self, you still chop wood and fetch water and feed the kids. You just do it knowingly. There is no wood. There is no water. There are no kids. There's no chopping. It's just this. What would you want? Forgiveness cannot give. What gifts but these are worthy to be sought? What fancied value, trivial effect, or transient, non-lasting promise never to be kept because no promises are kept in illusions can hold more hope than what forgiveness brings. Why would you seek an answer other than the answer that will answer everything? Here is the perfect answer given to an imperfect question. Meaningless requests, half-hearted willingness to hear the way of the world, wanting to be stuck in their belief, stuck in their dogma, don't challenge me. I want the truth. I might get angry, but I insist on the truth. Just don't change my belief systems because then I will hate you and then I want to destroy you. That's the way of the world. You want the truth. You're not ready for the truth. <laughs> Maverick. So a half-hearted half willingness to hear and less than halfway diligence and partial trust. Relying only on ourselves, we forget to ask, show me another way. The wonderful prayer of St. Francis of Assisi, Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where would you have me go? Who would you have me serve? To whom should I speak? What should I say to them? Every decision, before you think, before you even act, sit with it silently. Father, is this your will? Thy will be done. Here is the answer. Seek for it no more. You will not find another one instead. God's plan for your salvation. Salvation means the disappearance of you as a body, mind, the disappearance of the universe. You essence returns to the essence, which is God. In other words, God wants you to die <laughs> as a body. And he wants you to destroy your dream and return as the energy light you are. We are one extension. For God's plan for salvation cannot change. return to your true nature, your true essential nature, your true essence, nor can it fail. Be thankful it remains exactly as he planned it. What plan is, and it's just energy returning back to its energy. We have to call it plan because we think that way, linear, linear time. Remember, we but travel in dreams to a place we've never met, we've never left, through a time that doesn't exist. We've always been here now. Changelessly, it stands before you like an open door with warm and welcoming calling from beyond the doorway, from the here now, bidding you enter, you hear, and make yourself at home where you belong and where you've never left. Here is the answer. Would you stand outside without, while all of heaven waits for you within, your true essence, your heart? Your temple where God abides a spirit and where you abide a spirit in God. Forgiven, be forgiven. Release that you may be released. As you give, you will receive because you give to the one self. There is no plan but this for the salvation of you, God's son, son of God. You, the dreaming mind that dreamt this entire illusion of. Let us today rejoice that this is so. For we here have an answer, clear in pain, beyond deceit, in its simplicity. All the complexities of the world is spun of fragile, that is spun of fragile cobwebs of illusions and lies and complex stories disappear before the power and the majesty of this extremely simple statement of the truth. Here is the answer. Do not turn away or outwards in aimless wandering again. No more retreats, no more searching, no more ayahuasca's and nonsense. 
be here now, be silently still, be abiding, sink into the heart in gratitude, in silent stillness, ask to receive, ask to be shown, ask to remember thyself knowing. Accept salvation now. Salvation is the recognition of our shared being in God. That is salvation. That is enlightenment. That is awakening. I am that I am. It is the gift of God, our source energy, and not the world. The world can give no gifts of any value to a mind that has received what God has given as its own, as its own, as its shared being in God. God will salvation be received today. And that the intricacies of your dream no longer hide their nothingness from you. And yet all of it can be an echo for the voice for God within you, calling you to be yourself knowing you. Open your eyes today, your spiritual mind, awaken to self and look upon a happy world of safety. While you dream, the dream becomes happy to start become a reflection, an echo of the heaven you return to, of the heaven you've never left. And upon a happy world of safety and peace, forgiveness is the means by which it comes to take the place of the hell we've made, a universe, a world, body, mind. In quietness, quietness, awareness, it rises up to greet your open, your open mind, open eyes, and fill your heart, your temple, with deep tranquility as ancient truths, which are always the same, forever newly born in your awareness, arise in your awareness, for you are the awareness of awareness itself. You are that essence called awareness. You are the mind of Christ. You are the mind, which is the sun. You are the extension, which is God's extension. You are that in which God abides. God abides in heaven. You are the kingdom. God abides in you. He projected himself into your, extended himself, not projected, extended himself into the essence you are. What you will remember then can never be described. Let your forgiveness Offer it to you. Here now, as you stand in front of me, whether you're watching this video live, whether you're watching this on YouTube, whether you watch it 20 years from now, here now, receive the healing you so deserve, whether it be physical of your body, whether it be of your mind. Holy Spirit is in you right now. Release it. Give it to God that you may live out the rest of your days consciously knowing the self you are. I will for you perfect happiness my brother and my sister. We are one. Let that body go when it's time to go. But for now, be the light in the world that requires the knowing of the light within ourselves. Be an example. Be the Christ here now. This is what the world needs. Eight billion Christs. Remembering the gifts forgiveness gives, we undertake our practice today with hope, with knowing and faith that this will be the day salvation will be ours. It is ours. You're hearing these words. These words come directly from source, from spirit, from Holy Spirit, from the mind awake, from the Christ mind. Earnestly and gladly, we will seek for it today, aware we hold the key within our hands, within our grasp, accepting heaven inside us, heaven's answer to the howl we made but where we would remain no more because it never existed. We can never go there. It was just in our imagination, just in our dream. Mornings and evenings, do we gladly give a quarter of an hour to the search in which the end of hell is guaranteed? Begin in hopefulness and certainty, for we have reached the turning point at which the road becomes far easier because the distance between you and God is the same distance between you and your physical heart. As your heart is in you, so you are in God. You cannot, you don't have to travel far. It's here now. And now the way is short, and yet we travel inwardly. We are close indeed to the appointed ending of the dream. Of the end times, there's no time. But in the end times, it's just the disappearance of the universe. Sink into the happiness. Sink into your silent stillness. Sink into your temple, your heart, where God abides in you as you abide in him. As you begin these practice periods, sink, just take a deep breath. For they hold out a sure reward of questions answered and what your acceptance of the answer brings. Today it will be given you to feel the peace of forgiveness. Remember, now we're moving backwards. So emotions have now become feelings. 
the feelings become sense awareness. Sense awareness becomes silent. No more removal. So it will be given you to feel the peace of forgiveness offers and the joy, the lifting of the veil of unconscious awareness dissolves and awakened awareness becomes you. Before the light you will receive today, the world will fade until it disappears. And you will see another world arise. And you have no words to picture. You will just light, just pure light, which is the extension of what you are, the extension of God. Now we walk directly into the light and we receive the gifts that have been held in store for us since time began. Kept waiting to, for today. Because Time is only in the dream of separation. God is not in time. God is forever here now. Now here. Forgiveness offers everything you want. Today, all things you want are given you. Let not your gift recede throughout the day. Don't, get, don't forget. As you return again to meet a world of shifting change and bleak appearances where there seems no hope. Return, retain your gifts and clear awareness, knowing that you are that. You are that I am. As you see the changelessness in the heart of change, the light of truth behind the appearances. Inside that never changes. The body may age, but the true essence remains changeless in eternity. Be tempted not to lift your gift gifts slip by and drift into forgetfulness and react to the ugly world and react again, but hold them firmly in your mind, in your awareness, by your attempts, attempts to think of them at least a minute each quarter of the, as the hour passes. Remind yourself how precious are these gifts, the self-same essence which you are, with this remind, which is power to hold your gifts in your awareness throughout the day and eternity. Forgiveness offers everything I want. Today I accept forgiveness. This is true. Today I have received the gift of God, the gift of the illusionary gift of forgiveness that ends all illusions and reminds myself of what I am, the I am, the knowledge of God given me in the here and now, the knowledge that transcends understanding into the knowing of our shared essence, our shared being. In God, in eternity, here now, forever, as that which is the love, the light, the peace, the eternal extension of that we call God. Be you that, Holy Son, localized as you. Know that you are a localization of your dreaming mind. Surrender this. Return to the mind you are, the mind awake, the Christ mind. One with Father, one with Source, the external extension of that which you've always been, always will be. And are here now. Be you that. Namaste. Amen. And Shanti. 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 Be here now.